Hi guys, Mark from Burton Bibles uh, here with another video in our A to Z of Bible Binding series. And uh, today we have reached uh, uh, we have reached a uh, bonus, another bonus video that I wanted to do on the letter F, um, and that was to just talk very briefly. This will just be a couple of minutes about uh, French Morocco leather F for French Morocco leather. So this is just a little bonus video because some people have been asking about French Morocco, what it is, what it's made of, what it describes, or um, or what Cambridge mean by it. So I just thought I would bring, uh, bring that before you today. So basically, as I read it in my handy-dandy Cambridge Bible handbook, I also have uh, this uh, piece of material in the Cambridge brochure, which is called Recognising a Fine Bible, and that also has some details on French Morocco there. So, uh, traditionally, French Morocco appears to be referring to a, uh, a, a, sh a sheepskin. Um, it's a split sheepskin, so also known in the trade as a skiver or a skiver. Uh, it's a thinner hide, it's less expensive, it's the underside, that second layer of the hide, not the top grain, um, from the sheep. And, um, and, and that's what Cambridge referred to as a French Morocco uh, binding. Um, in their newer material, because that book is about 20 to 25 years old, um, they do say, they do have a little footnote uh, that says that Cambridge used this term, French Morocco, um, for leather taken from a split hide, traditionally sheepskin, but now often calf or cowhide. So that is the latest on that. This is a current French Morocco Bible, a personal Concord. So it's a nice, small, hand-sized Bible in the Concord range. And this is bound in French Morocco. And I have to say, when I hold this Bible, I'm very impressed by it. This just feels like a top top quality uh, leather. It feels like a goatskin, to be honest. It is slightly stiffer. That will be virtue of this uh, synthetic paste paste on liner that m stiffens it up and gives it almost a card um, a card quality to it and you can see that that, that where uh, that folds that's the vinyl piece keeping it sort of stiff but this will um, this will you know get get more flexible and indeed it can it can be bent and it can be made to flex and it's even it's a hand sized bible it's fairly small but it will sit flat in most places of the Bible. So the French Morocco is certainly that little bit stiffer. It is more susceptible to drying out and cracking. Um, but even still, this is giving you a leather, a leather bound cover um, at an economical economical price. And it's relatively soft and it's relatively flexible. And I think this Bible in my hands um, you can get a French Morocco personal Concord for around 40 to 45 pounds, something like that. Um, they do, uh, Cambridge do do the French Morocco bindings for their text only editions. So the Emerald text edition and the large print text edition in King James, they are all offered in French Morocco uh, leather, just so you know. So you can see from the, uh, the grain, it has a nice grain. A lot of these grains, don't be fooled by them, they are often, you know, uh, created, impressed onto the leather in the tanning process. Um, but nevertheless, this is quite a nice uh, cover and it's available at a cheap entry point. So that's just a little something about um, F for French Morocco. Hope that was of uh, some value and interest to you. And join us the next time when we're looking at G. Bye.